Pretend for a moment that you're living in an F. Scott Fitzgerald novel. Now suppose there was something that you thought was pretty cool. You might call it the bee's knees. I can only assume that's how this cocktail got its name. Hello everybody and welcome once again to COVID Cocktails. I am your host, John Weisbarth, and today on the show, we're making the bee's knees, which is yet another very simple cocktail, just three ingredients. But one of those ingredients happens to be a honey syrup. And typically I see that in a, in a list and I go, no, 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 not honey syrup. I'm just gonna go agave syrup or agave nectar because the problem with honey syrup is that you gotta make it yourself. And then once you make it, it only lasts for about two weeks, which is more than enough time if you're running a bar. But maybe when you're just making cocktails at home, I don't know, you're gonna make one or two, probably five, but whatever, it's still a lot of work for that. And it just doesn't last. That's why I like the agave syrup and why I always substitute agave syrup, but not today. So agave syrup, you're gone. Today, we're gonna make our own honey syrup using clover honey. It takes a little work, so we're gonna just jump right into that. Um... <laughs> oh, you knew I was gonna make a lot of noise doing that. Basically, it's a one-to-one -one ratio here. Really, really simple. So we're gonna take one cup of water, get that simmering, almost a boil, and then we add one cup of honey, and we just kind of stir till it dissolves. Uh, then I'm gonna attempt to pour it into this thing and we'll have our, our honey syrup. So I'll get the water going first. I mean, one cup of water is gonna simmer quick. I mean, right? Okay, let that thing start to heat up. We're not gonna worry about the honey right this second. Let's go over ingredients. Like I said, just three ingredients, super easy. It starts with gin. Once again, I'm going with the cut water. Then it is a lemon, and then it's honey syrup, which is, that's gonna be. And then maybe put that on there. And then just cause I used it. There, so there you go. Very, very simple. Oh, I'm so glad I remembered. We're gonna put it into a coupe glass, which means I'm gonna start chilling it right now. Perfect, I mean, I gotta do all this while we're waiting for the, the honey syrup. Again, the reason I don't really like this, I could just squirt and I'd be done, but it's fine. According to the internet, making honey syrup is pretty straightforward. So look, let's do it together. Okay, have this start chilling right there. Now I just need to, not boiling yet. Something about a watch pot. I just need to come up with something to do here. So, I mean, got any ideas? I know, yeah. We're definitely gonna need that. I can start cutting this. Uh, no garnish in this one. Brand new clover honey. Clover honey. I said syrup, but I meant honey. Hmm. Oh, that's very good. Oh, good. It's already doing. Woo! Okay. Dude, that was quick. I didn't even have to start tap dancing. I don't have an overhead shot. I only have one camera, so you just, you can see from there. It's just boiling water. That's a lot of honey. I'll tell you what. A cup of water doesn't seem like a lot. A cup of honey is a lot of honey. This is a mess. It's such a tasty mess. Mm. The problem with honey, putting just honey in as a sweetener, as you know, as soon as it gets cold, it, uh, it crystallizes. And that's no good in your cocktail. So by heating it up and combining it with water, you get a nice uh, syrup. I think that's it. Oh, gosh, man. I might have to, I might have to rescind what I said about agave nectar. Now I love agave nectar, and the, the difference between say agave nectar and like a simple syrup is it's got a better texture, and that's the same thing that goes for honey syrup. Honey syrup and agave syrup, much more similar. Just didn't like the shelf life, but this is pretty easy. Okay, shut her off. That was easy. Um, here comes the exceedingly difficult part. Taking the contents of that pan and putting it into this bottle. Now, obviously, I went to the hardware store and got a funnel. I actually got three funnels. I'm gonna opt for the big guy. I'm not really excited about the idea of burning myself right now. 
Is this ridiculous? To like go like that's just not gonna that's not gonna happen. It's fine. It is totally, totally fine. Okay, that's what this is for. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Easy, 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 easy. Look at that. Okay. Oh man, is this gonna be the perfect container for it or what? Look at that! Boom! Oh, I didn't even spill! Count it! Now, who knows if it tastes good? It probably doesn't. It probably tastes like plastic. But who cares? How cool was that? Obviously, you don't want to put boiling hot, uh, you know, sweetener into your ice cold cocktail. So they say, let it, uh, let it come to room temperature. We don't have time for that. So I'm just going to put this. It is very hot. Actually, this is what this is good. I, I'm going to put this in the fridge, um, which I hope doesn't screw it up, but we'll see, right? Guys, that was pretty easy. I mean, not as easy as agave nectar, but still pretty easy. So I love it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this super simple. I'm just going to use this. It's the trick they taught us uh, back in broadcast school. Um, okay, I'm good like this. I'm just going to snap my fingers and the thing's going to be done, okay? And it'll just be boom. It'll just appear right here, the, uh, the honey syrup I'm talking about. Okay, so ready? Don't move. Here we go. Honey syrup in three, two, one. Like, right? Isn't that so much better? Look, it's already cool to the touch. The little dealio is already in. I'm telling you, it's not a documentary, right? We don't have time to let things breathe. It's just, it's YouTube. Snap our fingers and it's done. We're going to go... Two ounces of gin. Here we are. There's one and a half. And there you go. Two ounces of gin. Let's throw the lemon. This guy's kind of right in the way, isn't he? There we go. Recipe I have calls for about uh Equal parts, one to one, lemon to the uh, to the sweetener. We'll see how that goes. All right, and then here we go. Not like seven. It's about good. I don't want it too sweet. Uh, I never know where to put it. Uh, here, hide behind the gin. You go there. Now let's shake this bad boy. Notice I rock back and forth a lot when I when I do this. I don't know. Did the same thing when I used to sing to my son. Okay, good. I got that on really hard, right? We've gone, we've been through this before. Whew. Yeah, here we go. Piece of cake. Just get this right off. Really jam that on there. But I learned what to do. So. Uh, you can see it's a little bit on an angle, right? So I look at, I go to the like the the, the part, I go sideways. Well, yeah, and I want to hit it sideways, and I just go. Perfect, right? God, I could have used that a couple episodes ago. I am not gonna garnish this with anything, but you could absolutely garnish it with a twist of lemon. I just, you know, already cut my lemon and don't feel like wasting another one. So here we go. Strain into the coop. Oh boy. I mean, there is a lot going on here. I mean, not in the cocktail, right? Just gin, the lemon, and the honey syrup. But this, that we created this from thin air, uh, is kind of exciting. A little bit of a pain in the ass, but, uh, you know, whatever. Okay, bee's knees. Let's just get a little. Yeah, so lemon and honey and gin. Here we go. Interesting. <laughs> Usually when people say interesting, that doesn't mean good. No, but hold on. Okay, here's the deal. I kind of like wimped out right at the end about how much honey syrup to put in. And I think I under poured it. Well, I, mean, I did under pour it a little bit. So it's way more lemony than it is sweet, which is fine, right? I don't need a sweet cocktail, but I was expecting a little bit more of that uh, warmth from the honey, if you will. And not literally, because again, we let that cool. But hang on. This is good. 
Actually, it's great. It's not bad at all. It just kind of surprised me. I was expecting a little bit more of the honey. What I would say is this is very refreshing. It feels very light. Um, the, 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 the citrus really comes through. But it's good. And it's ice cold. Let me tell you that. Next time I make it, I'm going to do the full amount of the, of the honey. Was this one the bee's knees of bee's knees? No, it wasn't. But it's still very good. It's still good. I won't say it's very good. I'm not going to lie to you. Not everything has to be very good. This is still good. And I would drink this. And I'll definitely make it again. <laughs> Mainly because I've got a lot of honey syrup i got to use now. Until the next time, keep making cocktails at home. And we'll see you uh, in the next video. Cheers. Make sure to ring that notification bell and smash that like button. See you next time. What he said.